I want you to push today. Give it everything you got. Let's go. Great luck. You're listening perfectly. Nice work.
heavy punches. You ready? opponent is not going to be able to keep up with you. Stop now. Thirty on the clock. Nice, nice.
You ready? I want some good technique and form this round. Beautiful combination. Keep it up. Put the pressure on it. Nice block. Nice work. Great combo. Keep it up. Come on. 30 seconds left. Hey. Great kickboxing damage. Good job. Your kicks are on point. Anytime you want to throw it, let it go. Coming up next, a UFC lightweight division battle. All right, so here he is at long last making his UFC debut. You hear so much about those famed octagon jitters and nerves. It's something he's going to have to bottle here tonight. These lights are bright. He doesn't look wide-eyed making the walk here, but there might be an adrenaline dump if you do too much too soon. Nonetheless, the bigger story, this man finally has arrived at his UFC debut. strikers in this division sprawl and brawl whatever you want to say he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight it does not matter how he accomplishes it all he wants to do is be on his feet and at range hitting you with the beautiful jab staying away from the grappling exchanges you don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance he has great distance management which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks Spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, it's most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in it's a world over, of trouble. And now our kill the tape for this lightweight scrap. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now for the official introductions, we go to the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, making his UFC debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 154 pounds, fighting out of Zagreb, Croatia, Assassin. 
And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 5 losses. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Fort Worth, Texas, James the Executioner! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go with round one. This is his UFC debut, so you know what he did on the ring. So the taller fighter lands a huge flying knee there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Circling towards the left. Oh. Big head kick land. Nice straight punch. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, man. Single collar tie now. All right, nice combination of punches by him there. Finish oh! Oh! He's out! He got him! What a fight! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So, a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 24 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by Knockout Assassin. Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? This is going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.
This round, I just want to see heavy punches. Let it go. Great. Hey, great. Great boxing damage. Okay? Good job. Starting to fall apart. You've got 20 seconds. Nice punch. Nice punch. You felt that one? Hey, no excuses today. It was a bad day, but don't worry about it.
So literally translates into the gentle art. Because you can neutralize any opponent with a choke or joint submission without having to throw any strikes. So let's get out there and be gentle. Nice work. Lock him down. Nice, beautiful setup on that submission. Good attempt, all right? Keep trying, and the tap will come, I promise. Come on now, you got 30. Come on now, let's improve. Now I know you can do better than that. You've got a lot. Heavy punches. You ready? Next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Let's go. 30 on the clock. Now that's the aggression I want to see in your next fight. Great job. Work, kid. Let's keep hitting. Coming up next, a UFC lightweight division bout. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range. 
hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, so, most people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer back from... for this lightweight scrap. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with the same height and some differences in reach. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of five wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 154 pounds, fighting out of Zagreb, Croatia, Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 19 wins, 3 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 154 pounds, fighting out of Monterrey, Mexico, Pantera! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. Ready? Ready? Well, he made a ton of noise by winning his UFC debut by KO. Now the... Whoa! Early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start to think about striking. And they separate. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Ooh, head kick lands, and he's hurt. He lands a switch knee. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise. Back to the feet. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Oh, no! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Looking to set up that nice. All right, so a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight. And they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Was able to get him down there. first. Oh. Huge strike lands there. Somehow his opponent stays out. He's done. He's done. What a fight! A near perfect.
perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands, but ultimately it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rubliot has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, two seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Assassin! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.